Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Citizen Sleeper. Last time we left off, we have basically recovered at this point. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. We have a imprinted ship mind we still need to use. Um, which reminds me, I need to go over here. Ooh, yikes, we're gonna be running into the hunter again though. We're gonna run into the hunter one more time, it seems. Because I need to unlock this keynote. Oh, okay, it uses a one. Or a three. So, just to, just to be clear, I cannot use a two, right? Okay, so... Okay, so that's what interface plus one does. It basically gives me another option. It doesn't just add plus one to the available range. Yeah, that seems like it would be a little bit OP. Okay, though, that's... Nice. I'm not sure if I can survive another scrap with the hunter. I'm probably gonna get super messed up. Oh god, I'm not excited about that. Um, unit assembly. So what exactly do we want to do today? I do know I needed to go to the tambour. Alright, uh, hand in gum box. You feel stupid doing this, but the penguin says take me to tambour, and this is the only tambour you can find. Let's do it. Cool. The waitress looks at you with suspicion as you hand over the box. Is this the right place? Continue. As you uh, go to leave the tambour tea house, a hand falls on your shoulder. Sleeper. Thing hisses from behind you. How'd you find me? The penguin. Penguin? What are you... Thinks for a second. Oh, do you mean... He mimes throwing gum in his mouth. That wasn't meant for you specifically, but he cringes. Look, it doesn't matter. Come on, sit. Ping guides you down a set of stairs to one of the tambour's lower levels. The tea house is stacked with curved mezzanines, all connected by a central atrium. The levels are filled with makeshift booths and bars, and conversation bounces busily off the metal walls. Ping sees you looking around. This place used to be a field tanker's main drum, hence the name. The tea house part is a bit of a misnomer, though. You can you can get anything the eye offers from this place, but real tea isn't exactly readily available. Picks a booth, itself fashioned from old salvage tank or container, then lined with spongy insulation foam. Collapses into it. Looks around furtively. I don't suppose you've seen any Havenage types. You don't usually come out this far. Thing, what's going on? Well, I'm suspended, that's the first thing. The second thing is I'm pretty sure Harden wants to drop me off the rim of the eye. Grins. Doesn't bother me, though. Shows we hit a nerve back there. He picks up a scrappy... ...hand-scrawled menu from the table and tosses it over. What are you drinking? What's the plan? Plan, 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 he waves his head. Let's order first. Thing is right, the menu is ridiculous. There's at least ten different infusions, most of which you can't make out, but the paper is dominated by an expensive or extensive complement of esoteric alcohols and cocktails. Black tea is listed without a price as a seasonal specialty. So you ran in the Harden. Was he pissed? Thing doesn't wait for an answer. That snake is so self-righteous he might actually believe that Erlen would approve of his meritocratic bullshit. Taps on the table. If Havenage was like it should be, like it was founded to be, they would have shouted him down at any council meeting he dared to mention true citizens. Size. I guess his kind run the place now. Young woman with a vine tattoo snaking up her arm turns up at the booth, a slate in hand. Your order? Skim the menu, your eyes glazing over, trying to pick something. Uh. A sam Sambar Eric? Fing raises an eyebrow as she notes it. And you? She begins, looking at Fing, but when she sees him suddenly, she suddenly stops. What the? Fing shrinks a little. You're supposed to be working. This is your shift. He grins sheepishly. You work here? He waves you to be quiet. Look, look, Jenna. Let's just say this is my break. My friend here has been through a lot. Jenna looks between the two of you. Wave. <laughs> Fing doesn't look pleased. Two minutes, says Jenna, pointing at Fing. And only because I don't want to get dragged into whatever this is. She gestures at the table and walks off. What? Fing stretches in the booth. You know how it is. We all have to eat. Plus, he leans in. This is the best place around here to find a person you might be looking for. Who? Remember that web of connections that hardened Ping the moment we confronted him? Those are his collaborators. If we want to understand what a Solheim executive might be getting up to on the eye, those are the people we have to find. Ping is almost whispering now. 
There's a couple of them I suspect are in the low end, and well, almost everyone in the low end comes through this place at one time or another. Brings a modified slate out onto the table. I've set this up so that anyone with the network signature I'm looking for comes into close proximity, it'll mark them. Once they're marked, we can break through their access protocols and get at the good stuff inside. We just have to find them first. Hints me moonlighting as a waiter. Suddenly a smile goes out across his face. Wait, I have an idea. Oh no. Look, I can't cover enough of the low end on my own, and so far I've had no matches in this place. With two of us, we can cover more ground. What am I getting into? Well, Ping has a hand dog look. We need to get you out and about in the low end in close proximity to as many people and residents as possible. And it turns out my friend Mingi needs some help with deliveries. Oh, okay, well I've been working there a lot. As in Mingi Express. So you already know him. Perfect. Fing places a tiny receiver on the table. This connects to my slate and runs the same marking protocol if you get near any of our targets. So all you have to do is take some delivery shifts for old Mingi and soon enough we'll have the place covered. Fing. Don't give me that. You think I like working here? I thought you could use the tips. He grins. We are in this together, right? Right. Okay then. Fing slips his slate back under his clothes. Just head out to Mingi Express. Take a delivery shift and we'll see what shakes up. You manage to find anyone to extract any data, bring it down here to me. They have me on double shifts, so I shouldn't be too hard to find. Jenna walks past, carrying a tray of drinks, and sharply catches Fing's eye. I don't think she's bringing a drink. He stands. I think it's time we call this meeting to a close. You grab the receiver from the table and slip it into your pocket. See you soon, sleeper. Stay safe, Fing adds, before turning and walking off towards the bar, whistling as he does. Okay, new drive. Oh, my god. Um... Okay, hack the network, locate Harden. Okay. Okay, well, at least I've been working at Mingi a fair amount, but now I have to do delivery, which I'm not used to doing. Well, before we do any of that, um, let's go... Not here. Let's go across the way over here and see what we can do with uh, Ankita's thing. Um, you. The wild margins. Yeah, so we can interface with this now. 50% positive, 50% neutral. Start action. Let's go. Ooh, five cryo, good. And ooh, three on tracking Ashton. Okay, well that's pretty good. I think I... Let's see, let's, let's keep that. Um... Let's go over here to the wastes and gather some scrap. So I can repair myself a little bit. Two scrap components, because I got a positive. Good, good. Um, alright, and I think I want to use my other six um, back over there doing deliveries. Because that's a pretty good one to uh, have. So, yep. Let's go ahead and deliver. Yeah. 100% chance for positive. This will also give me some cryo. 13 even. And plus 2 to Fing's targets. Okay, so we only gotta do that a few more times. I'm at 76 cryo, which is pretty damn nice. We're doing okay on data. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, things are... coming out better for sure. Things are starting to improve a little bit. Whew, it's about time. Uh, alright, I do still need food. And I'm kind of scared to use this on most things. 25% um, chance for negative on this. I don't really have anything better to use this for. Hopefully I don't lose anything. Good. Neutral outcome got me some energy and even got me some extra cryo out of it. Good shit. Okay. Everything's turning out well. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and self-repair a little bit. And I can start stockpiling my, uh, my scrap now as well. Good stuff. Or... I could go ahead and get up to five... Yeah, no, let's go ahead and fully repair. Boom. And now tomorrow I'm gonna have another dice. Yes, okay, now I can start scrap, uh, stockpiling my scrap. Good stuff. Alright, alright. We're improving. We're getting this done now. I've recovered... a lot. Five dice. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. 
So, uh, we have a few things we could do here. I'm definitely gonna need one of those fives for, uh, something. Let's go over here and, uh, use this four on this, though. Go ahead and use that here. 50% chance for neutral. Will it still at least get me one? We got another positive. Ooh, beautiful. You love to see it. Hell yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're, oh my god, it's working out. It's working out. I'm so happy. Alright, now we can go back here to Mingi's. And do an express uh, delivery with the five that we have. Positive. Oh man, we're doing it. Okay, neutral, plus nine cryo, and a little bit more on Fing's targets, that's fine. Uh, no negative, please? At least a neutral? Ah, uh, but hey, we still got one energy, though. Oh, wait, 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 so even if I... I should probably use this one for... For this jazz, right? Because I need that last keynote. This sucks because it's gonna get me hurt, but um Hopefully we can avoid asshole well enough. You're coming after me. Oh You're not? Oh. Well your meter filled up again, but you're not attacking me again. Maybe just because I've taken down a pretty good amount of these things? Okay, well, we got my last encrypted key that I need, so Neoven, get in there and do work, I guess. I thought I was going to get attacked again, but it seems like we were spared. Maybe that's the most they'll actually have the hunter attack you or something. This maglock opens, uh, leaving the door free. You're able to investigate. Isolated, uh, thing. And let's go ahead and input that ship mine. Okay, I expected things to go way worse with the hunter. All right. Cool, we are good now. As you leave the nest, something flips. You find yourself inverted, floating, dragged by one arm through the cloud. The threads shift and realigned as if you were or as if they were leading you somewhere. Look at your hands. You look down, expecting to see the heavy cylinder of the ship mind in your hand, but in its place is an ori. A sphere so bright it burns your eyes, is surrounded by rings and orbits. Other spheres tracing silken lines through space. And as you look closer still, you pick out a thousand sigils of a thousand stations and ships flowing like smoke, like dust. You look up and see a corridor, a canyon, a street in the low end. On either side, buildings flicker with markers of activity, sigils showing network access, data transfer, download, upload. Between them dances ghosts, protocols carrying or mirroring or shadowing data. Sometimes silent, sometimes chaotic. This place moves unlike any digital space you ever imagined. Something strange is happening here. And you see it. Below the stacked rooms, the units and apartments, the wires and the pipes, and the buzzing systems that run through it all. In the warrens beneath the low end is the hunter's core nest. This is where you must go. So that was Neovin showing me, I guess? Okay, low end. Uh, yep. The warrens. Find the nest. Okay, cool. It uses interface. That's good. Investing in the interface was a very, very good play for me. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Um, I... I do need to use one scrap component so I can still get all of my stuff tomorrow. But we can save the other one. I want to try and build the house. Alright, let's, let's end. I would like to try and build the house. Um, I can also probably start buying food now. Probably. Ooh, those are some shit rolls. Oh boy, those are not happy rolls. Uh, huh. Let's cross. Yeesh, we are not going to be able to do a lot with that. Uh, I can go over here and gather some scrap. 25% chance for negative, please. Neutral. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can work with that. Okay, um... Let's go cross back over. Um... Let's look over here. So... I can do a bit more stuff with you. What do I want to do, though? I could gather... 
some more of this stuff. Yet again, agents. Uh, let's see. I already sold most of my data to the fence, so this would mostly just be for money, I guess. Yeah, I mean, let's let's extract some of it. Why not? I could I could maybe get um some uh I can I can maybe get another stabilizer like that. Quite frankly, I don't really need it at this point, though. I'm pretty well off. Uh, but there is also a chance this gets me cryo as well, which I would like. That's Havenage. That's Havenage. I mean, I could maybe grab one of those too. Bypass? Sure. Let's grab another one of those. Cool. Alright, so I can sell this Havenage data um, somewhere. So... Yeah, you'll take Yadigan data, but... Oh yeah, it's over here. It's in low end, because the Yadigan is actually the one wanting to buy it. Yeah, you've heard that the Yadigan Enforcer here has been paying low end residents for information on Havenage movements. Caster won't give me anything new, right? Okay, yeah, that one's unavailable. You, you just need Yadigan data at this point. So... This is just good for selling now. Alright, that's fine. Tin Cryo, I'll take it. Um, Alright, I think I'm going to use this on Express Delivery. Hopefully I at least get a neutral 75% chance. Positive. Boom. Sleeper, you see Fing coming up the corridors, you step out of Mingi's. The uh, Kelt noodle smell is still clinging to your clothes. He comes up fast and stops close, looking around suspiciously. I don't have long. Take these. Thing palms you a couple of those metal thumbnail size drives. Ripper worms. My slate's been buzzing like crazy. Seems your delivery shifts to turn up our two targets. He squeezes your shoulder. I knew you could do it. Now we nail those snakes. What do we do? Harden's boys are all connected by some kind of closed network. You break the access protocols on both of them, you should be able to gain the location of the nearest network ports. Slot the rippers in those ports, one each, and they'll feed me anything and everything stored on Harden's shadow network. He smiles. Can't wait to see what juicy plans they have in have in there. You hear the scuff of boots as a group comes up the corridor, likely on their way to place an order with Mingi. You turn for a second, when you look back, Feng is already halfway down the corridor in the opposite direction. He raises his hand in farewell and is gone. You run your fingers over the tiny ripper worm drives in your pocket. And smile to yourself as you wonder how mad Jenner will be at Fing for this little excursion. Time to slot some worms. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Things are wrapping up. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, I still have the imprinted ship mind. But for that, we need to go to... Here. And we need to start working on this now. So with my new high rolls, I'm going to start trying to work towards that. I think. Um, I would like to buy some food. Let's put some cryo in here. I need some food. Because I need energy. There we go. Cool. Alright. Um, is there nothing I can do? You're coming back tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Um, so I could buy a ship mine fragment. I don't need to, though. There's no point in me buying a ship mine fragment. Yeah, we're just... We're just pretty good now. Things might be wrapping up kind of soon here. I don't even need to repair it myself. We can just end the cycle and keep our uh, scrap. Whew. That was, uh, that was spooky, but we managed to recover. I just realized I still have my keys in my pocket. Let's go ahead and set those over there. Alright, Maywick's on their way, but you're also very, very far from me, so I don't feel like I'm in a lot of danger. Um, Havenage Agent. Havenage Agent. Yadigan. Okay, there's another Yadigan. Harden. What do we need for you? A five or a three? Well, I'll give you my three. Yeah, I'll give you my three. I think that's fine. Okay, cool. Extract data. Good stuff. Harden agent port unlocked. Cool. Where's the other one? 
Pardon, Agent. You need a six or a four. I could just straight up finish this off right now. Um, all it will all it will require is a six out of me. Hmm. Should I waste the six on it or wait until next time? Hmm. I think I want to focus on getting this filled up before I do any more of that stuff, right? Let's go ahead and use my six here. I'll, I'll probably get another four sometime soon. It's not the biggest deal. Boom. There we go. Perk transfer intercept. Yeah, we got more stuff. And I can go ahead. Ooh, you see it, a starburst of data. Ooh, wait, that was a critical. That's not repeatable. Shit. Um, emanating from below, now to find the path down. So I have to do this some, which is dangerous. Okay, Warren Hunt's gonna have to wait a second. Just a little bit. Um, all right, let's noodle manufacture over here. Even if I get a negative, I still get energy out of it. So that is fine with me. Cool. We even got a neutral, so we got some cryo out of it. And let's do another noodle run. Since this is safe, there's no danger to me whatsoever. So, that's fine. We can use our ones on that. I didn't mean to come over here. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Here we go. Alright, cross to Greenway. Um, so we did our critical action over there with the five. Uh, I think I want to use this... Searching. Yeah, so this will be a 100% positive chance here for Ankita. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to the fact that that was a, uh, a critical action. That was my bad. I also could have gotten more scrap and we made a, maybe could have finished off the house today, but... We got tomorrow still. Yeah, the days are going by much faster now that I kind of know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go back home. Yeah, and uh, I'll use one scrap component. Hopefully we get a lot of really good rolls tomorrow, and um, I could uh, get enough scrap to finish things off. I could also just buy some scrap probably with the money, but it's so much easier just to do the other stuff. I mean, it's 20. I have a shit ton of money, but who knows when I'm going to need this. And it's so hard to build up high amounts of money. I'm not going to risk it. We don't know what money may be required in the future, so let's just play it safe. It's so easy for me to get scrap anyway. I don't need to buy it. Alright. Um, well, there's my four that I need. There's my four that I need. Unfortunately, we got two ones again. Mm. Well. Uh, the Warrens. So that, yeah. Okay, I think with this five, I'm going to go over here and let's see I did want to get some scrap today what are the chances of that 25% chance for negative let's do it please neutral okay mine is energy but we got some scrap okay that's good that's what I wanted I wanted to get at least a little bit of that today and let's go ahead and this is risky I need the four. Fifty no. Let's let's just go ahead and use this. Finish this off. It'll be fine. Five cryo gained from it. Cool. We're done with that now. Now I can get back to Ankita, who is conveniently right here. Trail ahead extends deep into an overgrown section of the greenaway. At this far end of the ring, where the long lazy curve of the greenway becomes the shattered landscape of the wastes, things are oddly quiet. Ahead stands a vast farm stack, broken from its axis by rust or force, and lying amongst the overgrown landscape like an ancient temple. It is stained with moss and algae, flows of green running out from its broken tanks like a frozen brackish tide. This is where Ashton is hiding. You're pretty sure. All your intuition points to the shadows beneath the collapsed superstructure. You roll the calm headset and Kita gave you over in your palm. Yeah, no, I'm not going in there alone. Calling Kita. 
He slipped the headset into your ear and it fizzes with static. After a few moments, you hear Ankita. Sleeper, you located the target? Down enters your mind. Can you be sure he's there? I mean, as sure as I can possibly be. Right? This is where Ashton's hiding. You're pretty sure. All your intuition points to those shadows beneath the collapsed superstructure. You roll the comm headset. How would I find out any more? Down in your mind, can you be sure he is there? I mean, I'm not positive, but it seems like... I'm gonna say yes. Copy. Hold tight until I get there. The static cuts out the channel dead. Hold your position and watch the trail. Ahead the stars wheel with the motion of the eye and your mind wanders. Try to imagine what this place looked like before the collapse. All ordered rows of crops, corporate pleasure gardens. Ugh. Glowing farm stacks, now it is a wilderness, a strange overgrown biosphere bordered by the void of space. You smile. Despite everything, it seems like an improvement. Sleeper. Kita Sis brings you out of your every. He's in the collapsed stack? I think so. She gives you a look. You better be right. Well, there's no way I'm following that trail. If he's up there, I'll have eyes on that for sure. Yeah, and you wanted me to walk in there. She glances across the landscape. Let's keep to the undergrowth. Work our way around. She heads off towards the central spine of the greenway with you following close behind. It's slow going there, where the overgrowth meets the metal wall, but it's so concealed that you can barely see the glass roof high above. Kido somehow seems to know where to go. And Kido works her way through the dense undergrowth, pushing aside branches and fronds. It is exhausting, and you deliberately or desperately want to rest, but Ankita shows no signs of, si of letting up. Up ahead, there's a faint glow from the collapsed stack. Ankita leads you around the side to a broken tank. You both step through the opening, trying to avoid the broken glass that sits among the moss and algae. You work your way up the slanted tank, Ankita setting a deliberate pace. pace. Somewhere water drips, and you swear you hear birdsong. Hanging plants catch the light, coating the place in a pale, sickly green. Ankita reaches the edge of the tank, where it meets the central drum, and holds up a hand for you to stop. You inch forward and look over the edge. The vast drum is like a cistern, with plants growing on all sides and wet mossy islands at its base. It's beautiful, and for a moment you can't see anything but, tone, uh, but tones of green. Plants growing on all sides and wet mossy islands at its base. Then you see the sleeper. Cool. Okay. Okay. This is good, right? So we're not going to get yelled at? In a faint circle of light descending down through the drum, the, sleep the sleeper lies slumped at an odd angle. They are surrounded by crates, and beside them, on one of the mossy islands, there is an object. A cylinder set on a tarp. It's connected to the sleeper's head. You flinch. Are they one of the others? One of the ones that escaped with you? You squint, trying to recognize them. They are twisted, broken, open, wrong. You look away. God, wait, so am I basically helping out this sleeper's version of Ethan? And Kita doesn't look at you, she doesn't look at the sleeper, she fixes her eyes on the object. That's, Am that's Amber's ship mine, she says, and you suddenly recognize the cylinder. Who is... You turn to Ankita to speak, but she's already gone. She drops off the edge of the tank and lands on one of the mossy islands, her armor letting out a hiss as it absorbs the impact. The shot hits her shoulder piece, the ceramic armor cracking but holding as she braces into the impact. Then she launches herself forward, the now activated armor launching her across the drum. Another shot goes wide before she reaches the cover of the crates beside the sleeper. Shit, you hear from the shout from one of the tanks high on the far wall. And Kita reaches over and wraps a hand around the thick connection between the ship mine and the sleeper. What is she doing? You better come down here or I'll rip this right out of your head, she screams at the wall of tanks. You shiver at the suggestion. Better come down here or I'll rip this right out of your head. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's... Wait, so let's see. Shot hits her and she's... Logic across the drum. Before she reaches... Shit, you hear... He reaches out and grabs a hand around... Uh, the thick connection between the ship mind and sleeper. Mm. So this must be someone I know, right? 
I was about to say, is it you? But no, I have you in my inventory, so it can't be you. Rip this right out of your head. I'm just, I need to stay silent here, I think. It sucks that she's going to be doing this to a fellow sleeper, but... Stay silent. It's a long pause. All you, he all you can hear is the tripping of the water running down the walls of the drum. Then Ashton calls out. Coming down, Ankita. Don't do anything stupid, for God's sake. Here's at the far side of the drum, stepping through the shallow water, rifle raised above his head. Drop the gun, Ankita shouts. Throws it down into the moss. As you lean out to watch, you see him catch your eye, clocking your presence. Disgraced mercenary is your title. What are you up to? What are you up to, here? up to here, Ashton, you sicko? She stands, keeping her sidearm trained on his head. You ripped my ship mine for what? Some freakish experiment? Ashton approaches with shaking hands, his eyes now fixed on the connecting bundle of wires that Ankita still has hold of. So, before I read any more, I'm guessing what is happening is you're trying to save the sleeper by transferring their consciousness into a ship mine like I did with Neovind? Steady, Ankita. It isn't like that. I needed a ship mine. You have to understand. They would have died without it. What are you talking about? I don't give a shit why you ripped my ship mine and crippled my ship. I should put you down right now. She tightens her grip on the connection. Typical of you, Ankita. No curiosity. Ashton smiles shakily. That's why I never asked for it. For your help. You only look after yourself. He nods at you. That sleeper up there. They're just bait, right? Draw me out. Yeah, that's what you intended, but I didn't do it. Nikita sucks a breath in. Are you trying to give me more reasons to shoot you? I love them, Ankita. Ashton looks at the crumpled sleeper. I love them, and they were going to die. I knew you would never understand that. He starts closing the gap between himself and Ankita, now slowly inching forward. Don't do that, Ashton, Ankita snarls. Don't do that. Let the wires go, Ankita. Let us go. If you don't get out of my way, he inches closer. Please. I can't let you take it, Ashton. Ankita hardens her stare. You stole it from me. You left me for dead. He shakes her head. Think I'm going to trust you after all that? I need it, Ankita. I need them to survive. Ashton is in reach of the sleeper now with Ankita. I'm going to take them now, Ankita. He raises a hand. I'm going to take the ship mind and go. Ankita loosens her grip on the connection a little. Her hand is shaking now. Stop, Ashton. She lowers the gun a little. Stop. Seeing her drop her guard, he makes his move. A blur of movement, a struggle, a shot, another, another. You recoil back behind the edge as they ricochet around the inside of the drum, the sound deafening you. Ah, <sighs> uh, this is a shitty situation because... I don't think you're lying, I think you're just desperate. And Ankita's pissed off about it, which makes sense. I mean, both of them have reason to be pissed off here, I feel. Although, I do feel like Ankita's coming down a little bit hard, but she was left for dead, to be fair. Which is not good. But it definitely makes, um, Ashton a little bit more sympathetic. When you crawl back to the edge, Ashton is bleeding into the water. The red and the green. Ankita's standing at the center of the drum. Why couldn't we have just talked a little bit more? Why did he have to keep moving on her? Maybe we could have talked it out. She's, Ankita seemed like she was maybe giving in a little bit. Kita's standing at the center of the drum, the severed connection in her hand. The water drips endlessly, drip after drip after drip. You force yourself to look at the broken sleeper. There's no sign of life, of humanity. They are just another broken object among, among other broken objects, while all around living things grow and thrive. And Kita finally looks back up at you, tears in her eyes. She begins to say something, something that might be sorry. But you're already gone. Yeah, that would be hard to watch. Um, she basically just murdered one of me. Um, oh boy. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this ain't good. This ain't good. I gotta say, it seems like it's gonna take a really, really long time for this other character to actually get over here. Uh, what was that, Maxwell? Was that you? Maywick. Why, why did I have Maxwell in my head? Um, so... Find Ashton. Talk to Ankita about what happened. Yeah, that needs to happen, doesn't it? Um... Let's close this stuff. Uh... 
let's let's do our our stuff here. Need to get my energy back, and this is the best thing I can do with these ones. Boom. There we go. Some extra cryo and stuff. Okay, the Warrens. Um, okay, yeah, we can't do that. Okay, yeah, that's that's right, that's right. So what do I want to use this for then? This four that I have. Was there even anything else I wanted to do? I don't really give a shit about Ethan. Uh, build the still. I could work on this. I don't really have much else to do. Or, or... No, let, let's focus on... Let's focus on getting more scrap with this extra one here. I can maybe uh, start working on building my house. Yeah. 50% positive, 50% neutral. If I get a positive, we're good. Only neutral. Damn. Oh well. We got we got one more. But... What I could do... I do have a bunch of money. I could just buy some scrap and we could go ahead and finish this off right now. With one more. Hmm. It's just 20... I think it's worth it. Let's just go ahead and buy one. I'm not using this money for anything else, and I still have a hundred left. So I'd say we're pretty good in that report uh, in that department. So, yeah, let's go ahead and repair the derelict uh, unit here. So boom. Yep. And boom. This will take a minute. It would be it would be nice if engineering gave me a bonus here, so I didn't have to use as many. But. And I'm still going to be good for tomorrow, um, having all of my dice. Took the scrap into the shattered interior. It's hard to imagine this place as a home, but it can't be worse than a container. Cool. A seal unit. With all the materials, the unit now needs sealing section by section to be usable. It's a laborious task, but the outcome will be worth it. Maybe even comfortable, a place to call your own. So yeah, I'm basically just doing this so that I can get this drive. So we have another thing to work towards now. Alright, um, let's go check in with Ankita, and then I need to end this episode off. Wait, where are you? Where is Ankita? It says... Talk to Ankita about what happened. Uh... Yeah... You weren't over here, right? You were not over here. Where did you go? Do I have to maybe check back with you like tomorrow or something? Maybe. I don't know, that mu that must be the case. Alright, well then let's uh, cross back over to the rim and I'll handle that stuff tomorrow. I imagine Ankita will maybe let me have passage on the Ambergris now. So I think we have a way out of here. I'm still going to try to complete as many objectives as I can, though, while I'm here. Help as many people as I, as I can. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we just... Go home now. And, uh, end this cycle. Alright. Alright. I'd say that went pretty well. We're doing pretty A-OK. -okay, I would say. Cool stuff. Alright, and the game just saved, so I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Citizen Sleeper off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.